Greetings and thanks for checking in. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. It will mean a lot to me and this new channel. And if you're returning or subscribed already, welcome back. Now, after a recent staycation over in Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort, I thought it'd be a perfect time to make a video on working out while on vacation. Now, having your exercise routine derailed due to work, family, life, travel plans, etc., etc., it can be a bit of a bummer. My simple formula is loosely based on the supercompensation theory. Now, it's pretty simple. If I feel that I've spent three days with little to no physical activity, then I make it a priority on day four to get some form of physical activity. Whether I'm home or whether I'm about 600 or something miles away from home, in the Mayan temples of Mexico or at the gym at whichever hotel I'm staying at. Now, as much as I'm all about health and fitness, I'm not gonna lie, committing to working out while I'm on full-blown vacation mode, to me, it's a little bit comparable to setting one's alarm to 4 a.m. on the one day a week you're able to sleep in. It's almost not gonna happen, but the intention is definitely there. So I don't know about you all, but I'm the type of person that when I go on vacation, I have full intentions of working out at least once. So. I visit the resort gym, I see how nice it is. I say, yeah, I'm gonna work out, and I don't get to it. This is the first time in a long time where I've actually been on vacation and actually utilized the resort gym. I mean, how, how can you not? This is awesome. <laughs> now, on this day, I'm skipping leg day because I'm visiting theme parks and sore quads and glutes are torture to incorporate a full day of walking, so. I'm doing a rather unorthodox workout and hitting upper body with emphasis on chest over at Jack LaLanne's Fitness Center here in Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort. Now, who is Jack LaLanne, you might ask? Well, he's one of the OG fitness celebrities and a motivational speaker who Ooh. opened one of the nation's first gyms back in 1936. He was also the inventor of the popular and probably one of my least favorite fitness machines, the Smith Ooh. Machine. Now, this gym doesn't have a Smith machine, but it's pretty well equipped and fits the nostalgia of the hotel. Anyhow, enough talk, let's get to work.
love that gym, but there's a couple of things that grind my gears. One thing is with as many chairs as that gym has for the chair aerobics stuff that you saw me doing earlier, they only have one bench in the entire gym. And also it was freezing, like legit cold. And this is coming from somebody who sets their thermostat to 69 on a regular basis. So eight out of 10, I was able to get the workout in. It is a lot more equipped than a lot of gyms out there in the hotels. And the dumbbells go up to 75 pounds, which for me, that's a huge plus. <laughs> Now, most gyms are equipped with at least a treadmill and a few dumbbells, and I'm talking about hotel gyms, not commercial gyms. So there's a myriad of ways that you can get in a quick 30 minute workout while you're on vacation. And while you're at it, make sure that you stay hydrated, listen to your body, listen to your doctor, and be sure to get your protein in after your workout. And no, there's no little small window that you must get your protein in after your workout, otherwise your gains go to crap. That's a myth. And lastly, calories in, calories out. Simple science, just make sure you're trying to keep the calories you take in throughout the day as close as possible to the calories that you burn while you're working out. And it's okay to cheat every now and then as I break into this 50th anniversary dome tart with my ramen spoon because I have to do dishes. <laughs> Now, if you'd like me to share more workout tips to apply to your vacations, please let me know in the comments. And that's about it. Thank you again. Stay positive, stay strong, make it a great day or night, and bye for now.